Retarded. Smash Bandicoot is a pain in the ass. What's your plan for tomorrow? Are you a leader? Smash Bandicoot is a YouTuber with 4,000 subscribers who mainly makes Undertale fan music that sounds like it came out of a synthesizer's asshole. He is also a mentally unstable, childish, and overreactive twat who has been harassing many people, namely my friend Mutation Corno and many mods in his Discord server, for just over a year now. Obviously, the fact that this video exists should tell you that waiting for him to give up and move on is out of the question. I would like to preface this video by saying that Smash is a bit of a psychopath. Oh, you think I'm being hyperbolic? Let's have a rundown. Grandiose sense of self-worth, pathological lying, manipulative actions, lack of remorse, emotional shallowness, lack of empathy, and an unwillingness to accept responsibility. Also, he has a bit of a tendency to wish death upon people, including teenagers, because that's exactly how you retain a moral high ground. If there's one sentence I can use to talk about Smash, other than SHUT THE FUCK UP YOU CUNT! It would be that he is certainly an intriguing individual. Before we truly begin though, I want to say thank you to my pal Alto for helping with this video by arranging our Discord group to document everything we know about Smash and managing to compile every screenshot and piece of evidence we have into a Google Photos album. He also gets involved in the conversation with Smash later on in the video that honestly takes a lot of balls to do, so please send him some love. Anyway, this story begins with my fellow YouTube friend Mutation Corno and his original Discord server. Corno is a YouTuber who mainly specializes in making Smash Bros edits, and if you're into that kind of thing, then please check his channel out. But back on topic, some time ago, Corno was associated with a YouTuber named Black Fox. I don't know the exact details, but apparently there was some drama that happened there, and Smash admits to being involved with it in his bullshit video he made on Corno. And yes, I will get to this, but it's probably the most hilarious pile of wank I have ever seen, and the ratio seems to agree. Black Fox decides to disappear from YouTube after the drama, and everyone goes to separate ways. Sometime later, Smash stumbles across Corno's channel, surprised that he is still making content. These are his words, by the way, not mine, and decides to stick around despite saying that he didn't like his content. Don't think about it, it gets so much worse later on. I will get to these points soon. He then joins Corno's Discord server, and this is the point where everything goes tits up. Smash would genuinely start thinking that he had some sort of friendship or bond with Corno, and would also constantly post a lot of dodgy things on Corno's server, from racist statements and jokes, getting angry over others' opinions, spamming, and generally being a massive nuisance. Now, while I personally don't have a problem with racist jokes, if Corno doesn't want them on his server, then that's completely fine. Racist statements, on the other hand, are a completely different story. Because of this, he would frequently be muted by mods who were sick of him opening his mouth and for breaking server rules. And when this happened, he would do one of two things. Number one, harass the mods in their DMs, or two, bitch and complain to Corno to try and get himself unmuted and to get the moderators punished just for doing their jobs. He clearly thought that he and Corno had some sort of bond between each other when they barely interacted at all, and would get incredibly frustrated if Corno didn't immediately respond to him. In fact, one time Corno was literally on vacation when Smash got banned for being a dickhead and he spammed Corno DMs multiple times, even after Corno told him he is currently at a hotel. He then called Corno a backstabbing son of a bitch. If you think this is reminiscent of troll behaviour, then you'd be correct. Except for the fact that Smash doesn't do this to just Corno, he does it to everyone. Random people in multiple Discord servers, random people in DMs just because of their profile picture. People who ask him questions on Reddit, his posts on Reddit, his Twitter account, his replies in his comment section, and even the videos he makes where he projects his fantasies of killing people. Everything this malformed mutant has has, he acts exactly the same. And to do all of it for over a year on all of those platforms is something that not your average troll is capable of, let's be fair. Smash was banned a few times from Corno's server, and after this he would occasionally come onto Corno's streams and dislike bomb them. This is something he admits to doing, and would sometimes even impersonate other people in the chat to try and grab Corno's attention. One of Corno's stream archives shows that Smash tried impersonating Baranamo SSP in chat. Obviously when you look at the live chat you can see that Smash's messages were removed, but they're still viewable on the stream itself. Itself. It's hard to make out what they say because the stream is in 480p, but the proof is still there. And unfortunately, this is barely scratching the surface of Smash trying to impersonate people. Here's a point in time where Smash decided to try and impersonate Hydro, one of Corno's admins, trying to talk to DP Mario, another moderator, about Corno apparently shit-talking him behind his back. Now, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that this is Smash. This is the real Hydro, by the way, and this is Smash's fake. Tags are completely different for one, and also this isn't the first time Smash has impersonated Hydro. Smash once created 
created a fake account of YouTuber STP8. This is STP's current YouTube account, by the way, as he has since left and deleted all of his videos for purposes that are completely unrelated. And this is the fake account that Smash made. So not only is it pretty sad that he's faking accounts to praise his garbage content, but when Hydro noticed this, Smash immediately created another fake account, this time as Hydro, and to try and accuse the real Hydro of being the fake Hydro. Are you still fucking following me, guys? Because DP isn't a dipshit, he immediately calls Smash out on this, and Smash tries to change the subject until eventually he gives up and posts the same garbage video he made on Corno as if DP hadn't seen it. And there are plenty of other examples of him impersonating people too that can be found in some of Corno's livestream archives, including the dislike bombing to boots. It's also worth noting that Smash has tried multiple times to lie about the moderators to Corno himself. One time, Hydro simply said in chat, Daisy's pose irks me, in response to a picture of Daisy being sent in chat, and then Smash was banned sometime after for something I wasn't aware of. But given that Smash admits that he posted cropped porn on the server in his video on Corno, and the fact that the situation is about making sexual jokes, I'm willing to bet it was him posting cropped porn or some other tomfuckery. Then he immediately took what Hydro said out of context to try and get Hydro punished for breaking server rules and even lied about a user known as JC by saying he said children fapping when he never did. He just tried to rope in some random guy on the server because he's that much of a tool and doesn't realise that Discord servers have a search bar that people can use to search for messages that were sent. He isn't exactly the brightest bulb in the Hanukkah tree but he's certainly trying and that's all that matters. I might also want to point out that Smash would frequently try and use alt accounts to get back into Corno's server, usually with the goal of posting shitloads of spam and then getting banned again. And as you can see from the screenshot, the spam has been deleted but the reactions of the people in chat at the time are still there. One thing you'll notice about Smash is that he's not a very self-aware individual, and by that I mean he doesn't know when to close his fucking mouth and talk like a normal person. He does everything in such a dramatic way, like posting dots as soon as he joins and having a bloody countdown to when he's about to spam, DMing Corno, shit like revenge is coming, and even at one point trying to reenact a scene from the Empire Strikes Back. Join me. Together, we can rule the galaxy. Okay, 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 we get it. Smash is a bit of a shitty fucker. Is there any more you can add to this? Why, yes, because now it's time to start talking about Smash's delusions! As previously stated, Smash is not exactly a mentally stable human being. But his mental state doesn't just stop here. It, in fact, gets so much worse. Now, I don't know the exact time Smash went cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I do know that he isn't afraid to tell people about his plans, including random people he found on a Discord server completely unrelated to Corner. Let's start with the one that he has recently conjured into his damaged fucking brain. Smash believes that Sakurai met and is friends with a couple of Smash players who recently were out for diddling children and formed a crime syndicate with them. Apparently, Etika was offered to join but declined and then he threatened to expose them, leading to him being tortured by the syndicate which led to his suicide. What the fuck are you saying? I bet it's really tempting to call him a troll now, isn't it? Except it's just really fucking sad that this is just the mess that his brain is in. He reveals this to random fucking people in DMs and on Twitter for months on end. And if he is a troll, it doesn't exactly make things better because he doesn't excuse the fact that he's still a massive dipshit. His sudden hatred for Sakurai has come into his mind because of the addition of ARMS character Min Min into Smash Bros Ultimate. Smash has a history of getting worked up over video games for literally no reason, even threatening to kill himself over it multiple times, which we will get into later. Smash's reasoning for hating Min Min and Sakurai is down to the fact that he thinks no one asked for her and that she isn't a main character, so that means everything is screwed now. Both easily debunkable claims, in fact if Smash really did know or care about Etika like he says he does, then he probably would have realised by now that Etika would have been thrilled to have Min Min in the game. So I'll just leave you to think about that one. And after all of this, he openly threatens and makes clear that he wants to kill Sakurai, even making a lovely little YouTube video where he projects fantasies of killing him. And this isn't the only time he's done this. It seems anyone he gets into personal beef with, he ends up making videos fantasising about killing them. This includes Corno and some other people who I'm not too familiar with. Please keep in mind that Corno himself is a teenager which makes this just that more fucked. He has also decided to view Corno as some sort of part-time mafia boss, claiming that the internet does not belong to Corno, but in fact belongs to him. What the fuck did you just say? He calls anyone who is associated with Corno one of his goons or cocksuckers, and at times will even tell people to go and suck Corno over a disagreement, despite them having no idea who Corno even fucking is. <laughs> If 
if you ever receive a DM from Smash Bandicoot out of nowhere, it's either because your profile picture is something he doesn't like, you had a small disagreement with him, or he's just feeling a tad more bipolar than usual. But what if it's all free? Now, I was contemplating making this video for a while as I didn't want to cause a stir, but then it seems like the hands of fate came to grab me by the balls because I found out that Smash had been in contact with one of my mutuals from a completely different friend group. This was such a bizarre fucking coincidence that I had to double check that my drink hadn't been spiked. The mutual in question is a user called Techstop, who also has a YouTube channel, by the way, check that out, who was in a server that one of their friends owned that Smash just so happened to join. Smash shot Techstop a friendly DM at first, asking for a real aid key. I searched this up, and it's apparently something related to a program made to make music or something. I guess that lines up with Smash's channel, okay. Then, one day after Min Min was revealed in Smash, Techstop had changed their profile picture to Min Min, which is when Smash randomly decided to get hostile towards this random person who he has only interacted with once before in a friendly back and forth. Telling Tex to go fuck themselves, sending death threats, assuming they know who Corno is, which made me laugh for about two minutes. And then, the motherfucker tries asking Techstop for Sakurai's email. Which then leads to Smash saying how he will kill Sakurai, he gives his Disney villain ass speech, this reads like a fucking parody and yet it's actually happening and that fact alone terrifies me. After Techstop perfectly demonstrates how you should act when arguing with Smash when he's hurling death threats at you, that being do anything that requires input from your synapses, Smash decides to end the conversation by saying that he's going to choke himself, by which point Techstop is completely through of what he's saying because he's a worthless pile of shit and he's threatened to kill himself more times than he can count. In fact, literally a small amount of time after this DM happened, Smash hopped into DP Mario's DMs to try and guilt him into caring about his false desire to kill himself for sympathy, and then tries to lie about Techstop, saying that Tex insulted DP, quite impossible seeing as Tex doesn't know who DP was until I DM'd to check if they were okay, and even said that Tex encouraged Smash to kill himself. If you've noticed the pattern by now, is that Smash often tries to squirm his way out of trouble and to blame his actions on his false desire to commit suicide. It's a sympathy move. He does it so he can get people to feel sorry for him while he continues to hurl abuse and death threats at them. This is textbook emotional manipulation and for some reason even after having it explained, he still manages to trick people with this shit. There was this kid called JT Toons who fell right for his manipulation and then had the gall to try and blame everyone in the group who got together to document Smash's behaviour as he thought that we were the cause of it. Obviously things escalated because JT is the emotional type, so when we tried reasoning with JT he decides to ignore us and make a separate group of both Smash and multiple people that Smash has threatened to kill because he thought that they would all sort it out and hug. I'm sorry if this is turning into a bit of a call out towards JT, but I feel like I should mention this in case anyone brings it up, because it perfectly showcases that Smash's manipulation works. I also wanted to bring up JT because this kid has been a right thorn in my ass for a few days now. Oh, and JT, if you're watching this, please go fuck yourself and stop sniping at me on Twitter and try to manifest evidence of me being a douchebag out of thin air. Back on topic though, the way Smash has treated Corno's staff is nothing short of disgusting. Sending them death threats, accusing them of murdering Etika for no reason. You'll find that he actually doesn't care about Etika whatsoever, by the way, sending them gore on some occasions. Oh, and if you were wondering why we shouldn't try to get him some mental help, well, we have tried. A few times, actually. He doesn't care. That's why this video exists, because he can't keep getting away with this shit. Still impersonating Hydra too, by the way, with the same account, saying he'll get Corner to commit suicide and dig out his true identity, whatever that means. Pony's threatening to kill himself again. Oh, what's that special announcement? Oh boy, I wonder what it is. To get more of an insight into what we're dealing with and to do some investigating, Alto, who organised a group where we collect info on Smash, decided to get in contact with Smash and become an acquaintance of his. He randomly blurts out that he wants to kill Corno, Sakurai, etc. Keep in mind he has no idea who Alto is or that he's even associated with Corno at all. He just said this in casual conversation. He then goes into detail saying the crime syndicate Sakurai is a part of also does sex trafficking, which explains the whole connection he made with Zero. Still makes no sense, but at least we have some context for the Smash Bandicoot lore. And we also get official confirmation that Smash is located somewhere in Egypt. We already had an idea before, but this is now official confirmation. If anyone in Egypt is watching this by some miracle, and you know who Smash is, also by some miracle, then please get him to seek help. Much appreciated. So his plan is to basically steal a helicopter, and then- <laughs> His plan is to steal a helicopter and some weaponry- I, I can't, I can't, I'm sorry. <laughs>
but his plan is to steal a helicopter and weaponry and fly from Egypt to Japan. My man saw Stardust Crusaders and went, yeah, but what if I do it backwards? Okay, 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 I think you get it, Smash DMs are disgusting, is there anything else I could possibly tell you about? Plenty of things, actually, as we're now going to take a look at Smash's video on Corno. Now, speaking as someone who's seen and been in their fair share of drama before in the past, this is perhaps one of the worst exposed videos I have ever seen. There is not a single truth spoken throughout this entire piece of shit, and I aim to point out exactly what is wrong with it. I'm going to stop being a snarky asshole here just to go through all of these because my lord is it pathetic. Smash starts it by openly admitting that he was stalking Corno's channel despite not being a fan whatsoever and joined his Discord server. He says in the video that he was following Corno's channel because he made below average Smash edits. He weren't any good, really. I was just excited for how he would improve. Despite literally beginning the video by telling us that Corno was a friend of another Smash YouTuber that Smash Bandicoot had an agenda against. I had flame wars with a shitty channel called Black Fox. He was going at me with his fans. And one of his cancerous fans was Mutation Corno at the time Mutation Foxy. Something tells me that you were still annoyed that he was moving on from that and making content after you supposedly helped get that guy's channel taken down. And given that you lie about a number of things in this video, I am not inclined to believe what you have to say when it comes to you following Corno's channel. Smash then claims that he was apparently banned from Corno's server for a pathetic thing that doesn't deserve a ban. One day, I got banned for a pathetic shitty thing that isn't worth a ban. Funny how he would say say that about actually showing the kind of things he would post on that server. Picking fights with people, spamming, hell this isn't even limited to Corno's server as he also got banned from Papagino's Forest Maze server for calling Latin American people the Pirates of the Caribbean. Which, regardless of your own stance on offensive jokes, obviously I would laugh at that if it was just mentioned as an offensive joke, was obviously not suitable for that server and he got banned for it. So I became a spy on his live streams and pranked his channel for what he did. I eventually moved on to other things and I kept it that way thinking that Corno would realize how I didn't deserve a ban. Something you'll notice about Smash is that he has no idea that the things he does are morally fucked. He will openly admit to doing things that are generally disgusting and shameful, having no idea that he's in the wrong. By pranking his channel on live streams, what he actually means is that he stalked Corno's channel, would repeatedly dislike bomb his videos with multiple accounts, and would eventually type these insanely melodramatic and hilarious messages about how Corno backstabbed him. Though he obviously turned into a copypasta, because come on, you cannot be this butthurt over getting banned from a Discord server. I joined in either way. I was excited to reintroduce myself, share stuff, and maybe have a good time. Until not even two hours in, I got banned for jokingly posting cropped porn. Hmm, let's take a look at one of the rules for Corno's server. I'm sure you claim as some sort of weight and maybe Corno was in the wrong. DON'T POST NSFW! Yeah, you can't start bandwagons against someone because you broke the servers, you complete fucking tool. Until one time, I redid the spy scheme I always did when he uploaded premieres. Admitting again that he was stalking Corno's channel because he got banned instead of moving on with his life. I contacted him to free me. He told me I was saying quote unquote uncomfortable stuff. I didn't understand what made it so uncomfortable. You were banned for the exact same reason why you were banned before, and then had Corno explain to you that the things you were saying were uncomfortable because you were breaking the rules. And because Corno has a godly amount of patience to put up with a moronic shitbag like yourself, he gave you one last chance. And this is what you did with it. When the awful Smash character was revealed, by fucking Le I was enraged and went on a rampage because this awful character revealed. I started to calm down and have more friendly conversations, until somebody said something about wanting Gino, but I disagreed, and for disagreeing his fans went on a harassment on me. No one harassed you, in fact the most I could find were people jokingly saying your opinion is trash. No one wanted you banned over that. He also keeps saying the N word along with his fans and says that he has the right to because he's black. Are you trying to fucking fool me you racist piece of shit you are clearly not black and none of your fans are you racist moron. Here's the thing with Smash, he gets really anal about people jokingly saying the n word in conversation or to address each other as friends. But here's a fun fact for you, Smash has never seen Corno before yet randomly decides to say that Corno is white to try and make himself look morally superior. Fun fact for all of you, Corno has a dark skin colour, but is technically not black as the term black refers to those of African descent, but he lived his life thinking it was so 
socially acceptable to say that because of this difference. So yes, while Corno, by a socially acceptable standard, shouldn't have been using it, he is not white and has never used it to insult, segregate, or cause harm. It was used with friends and to address people in a friendly manner. And on the topic of smashing the n-word, I actually have some very interesting screenshots here, but they would probably be too much of a reveal, I mean, this video is spitting enough fire as it is, like, WHOOPS I DROPPED IT AND WHOOPS I DROPPED IT AGAIN, OH DEAR. Are you trying to fucking fool me, you racist piece of shit, you are clearly not black- Yeah, and you're Egyptian, what's your excuse? Until I joked and used the inspect tool to make Corno say the n-word, I will admit though, I shouldn't have made him say that, but we'll get there later. He went on an outrage and wished death upon me. He never did such a thing, and he never wished death upon you, actually. And if you could support your claim with some screenshots or any kind of evidence, then that would be great. The reason I got the first ban was because I didn't want Shadow to get in Smash and didn't think he should even be the second Sonic rep. I proved some points as to why he wouldn't even work as an Echo, but they were toxic and desperate, so they banned me for months. No one on the server ever did anything like that, and if you're banned over it, you're most likely being an insensitive shithead like you always are. He actually faked one of his fans' death. That wasn't Corno. That was another moderator who did it as a joke in poor taste to get under your skin. They even admitted it and apologized. I didn't understand what made it so uncomfortable, as they sometimes joke like that too. Here is you lying to Corno in DMs about a moderator making a sex joke that he never made and trying to insist that they said the same thing that got you banned. There's making a sex joke and then they're saying whatever the fuck this is. Oh, and also, the other moderator you were trying to accuse literally only said Daisy's pose irks me in reference to an image of Daisy. They didn't do anything close to what you said. He did so many other bad things, to the point that I can't even remember all of them. Oh, I wonder why that is. This bitch makes ugly edits, doesn't improve, and worst of all, he probably makes hundreds, maybe even thousands of dollars from this shit. So he makes content that you think is bad, and you're saying that's bad because he probably earns revenue from it. YouTube revenue doesn't have feelings, Smash. He can make whatever content he wants, regardless of its quality, and earn money. He isn't stealing from anyone. Stop being dramatic. These are the most toxic fans I've ever seen, which should come as no surprise since he's Black Fox's successor. His fans aren't even toxic and he isn't Black Fox's successor. You gave him that title in your damaged fucking brain just to make him look worse because you had an agenda against Black Fox as well. Here's DP Mario. He called me a piece of shit for doing stupid shit. DP acted accordingly because you were being a toxic piece of shit. Your jokes crossed the line of the server's rules and so you are banned from making them because they make others who came here to not hear those kinds of jokes feel uncomfortable. Here's Dreadlaw. He said that if I do a rent on Corno, my career will end. Since it will quote unquote show that I have bias, well, look at what I am doing now. Red told you this because you were out of your fucking mind. You were so very clearly biased and overdramatic and a confirmed liar. Every single time you have tried to bring Corno down, you keep digging yourself a deeper hole. This video already proved that. It doesn't end your career because Corno actually has a lot more restraint than you think and didn't respond. But I don't have as much restraint. This might seem a bit weird to you, Smash, but I don't really like sitting by watching my friends be bullied relentlessly by a psychopath. So now that you've made this video and have finally prompted me to get off my ass, all I can see is that you are practically begging for this to happen. So attack me all you like, see how far it gets you. Here's Captain Oliver. He might actually be the worst of them all. He kept fucking muting me fuck knows how many times and called me quote unquote an awful human being who wants a reaction. Yes. Sharing my opinion and getting angry is wanting a reaction. Captain spoke nothing but the truth. Every word that you have uttered is pure trash. You have constantly harassed Corno and the moderators who took action against you and keep trying to make it look like you're in the right while simultaneously revealing yourself to be a garbage human being in the same sentence. And last but not least, here's Black Caviar a okay, Bad Freddy. He's a piece of shit communist who can't even speak English properly and says I can't compose. Yes because your shitty music is any close to a masterpiece, you piece of communist shit. Not only do you act like Caviar as the spawn of Satan, but you were also visibly begging him to unban you despite the fact that he has no power to do such a thing. He made it very clear, even if his English wasn't perfect, that he didn't want anything to do with you and couldn't unban you. And he said it in the nicest way possible. Recently I've pushing for him to get cancelled alongside spoiler alert on our Tihi and our PvP submission. You tried to get him cancelled over lies on multiple subreddits that aren't even related to Corno in the slightest, including PewDiePie's Reddit because you got banned for being toxic. ARE YOU YANKING MY FUCKING CHAIN?! I got permanently banned from PewDiePie submissions for this. What the fuck? They didn't even warn me. PewDiePie or any moderators from PewDiePie submissions, 
If you are by some miracle watching this, please unban me. This is just sad. You got rightfully banned for spamming on multiple reddits that had nothing to do with Corno and you act like this is somehow out of order. And spread awareness? The only thing you're spreading is your fucking downfall. Every time you take action against Corno, more and more people are exposed to just how much of a shit pile you are. This just proves that cancel culture isn't bad. It's just that people can't fucking- No, people like you, Smash, are the reason why cancel culture is bad. Except you're not even doing it based on things Corner did in the past. You did it with lies. Pure, hateful lies. You're the reason why cancel culture is bad, you lying sack of regrets. Corno, if you're watching this, get infected with Corona. Literally a few minutes ago, you accused Corno of wishing death upon you for no reason, and now you're wishing death upon him? Projection much? And that's the video. It really does amaze me that someone can gather this much of a following go through this much drama and not get called up by anyone until now. But I've had enough of this bullshit. I've tried keeping my composure this entire video and I'd say so far I'm doing a pretty good job. Because let me tell you, if I wasn't keeping myself calm, I would be shouting and cursing until the cows come home. Because this entire situation just makes me angry. It's a type of anger that gets built up over the course of a year where someone harasses your friends, lies to gain sympathy, slanders people constantly and will not fucking stop. It's a type of anger I have not felt for the longest time and God fucking damn, I am about ready to unleash it. So what have we learned today? Don't trust a single word that comes from this band of cunt's mouth. It is either disgustingly exaggerated or he's flat out lying. Hell, I was so slow to make this video that he even tried taking shots at fucking Alpha Rad, claiming that Alpha somehow raped him. Whether this was intended for trolling or not, this is pathetic and disgusting behaviour and I would not stand for it any longer. We have waited for you to move on. We have tried to get you help and Corno has certainly told you to stop numerous times. And given the fact that you thought it was great for people to harass Corno when you released your video, I will not even discourage people people from saying whatever the fuck they like to you. You deserve everything that comes your way from now on until the day you leave or apologized. Get fucked, you lying manipulative bandicunt.